This is an algebra. Algebra paper four type long extended type question. Find the integer values for x which satisfy the equality minus three is less than two x minus one, which is less than or equal to six. So if we write that down first of all, what you do with when you've got two in inequalities like this is you need to solve them separately. So you need to solve minus three is less than two x minus one, and then two x minus one is less than or e less than or equal to six. Opposite of taking away 1 is to add 1 to both sides, so it becomes minus 2 is less than 2x. Divide by 2, you're going to get that minus 1 must be less than x. So going over here, doing exactly the same thing, adding 1, you're going to get 2x is less than or equal to 7. And then dividing by 2, you're going to get that x is less than or equal to 7 over 2. Then what you need to do is rejoin them. So you've got minus 1 is less than x less than or equal to 7 over 2. And to see whether you should join them or not, it's a good idea to look at the number lines. We've got minus 1 and 7 over 2. We put circles. Open circle means not equal to. Closed circle means equal to as well. And this is in between. So this is the number line version. Simplify x squared plus 3x minus 10 divided by x squared minus 25. So to simplify these sort of things, we have to factorise. So we need to factorise both the numerator and the denominator. If we look, write that out and we look at the top, to factorise it, we need to factorise it into two brackets. It's quite an easy one. Factors of minus 10 are 2 and 5. One of them will have to be positive and one of them will have to be negative. And because we want plus 3, this one will have to be positive and this one will have to be negative. For this one, x squared minus 25, we need to remember that a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So a will be x and b will be square root of 25, which is 5. So this comes down to x plus 5, x minus 5. So we see we have an x plus 5 here and an x plus 5 here. So we cancel them out and we write down the answer as x minus 2 divided by x minus 5. Show that 5 over x minus 3 plus 2 over x plus 1 is equal to 3 can be simplified to 3x squared minus 13x minus 8 is equal to 0. This is perhaps the most difficult part of this question. Now, we know to add fractions or, uh, together, we need what's known as a common denominator. So the common denominator will be x minus 3 times x plus 1. And because I've multiplied this by x plus 1, I must multiply the 5 by x plus 1. So we've got 5 times x plus 1. And because I've multiplied the bottom here by x minus 3, then I must multiply the 2 by x minus 3. Now, I can also put this over the same common denominator by multiplying it by x minus 3 x plus 1. You can see that all cancels out and gives me back to 3. Now the reason for doing that, once we've got a common denominator, we can now ignore it. Alright, so the equation now comes down to 5 times x plus 1 plus 2 times x minus 3, 3 times x minus 3, x plus 1. Okay, now we need to expand the brackets. So expanding that, we get 5x. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2x. And be careful if that was a minus sign, because that would have an effect the sign here, but it isn't in this case. 2 times minus 3, minus 6. Where about the 3 in a minute? We do x times x, which is x squared, and x times 1, which is x, minus 3 times x, which is minus 3x. Minus 3 times plus 1 is minus 3. If you try to do all three at the same time, you're liable to make a mistake. 5x plus 2x gives me 7x, and plus 5 take away 6 gives me minus 1. Then we get here, if we collect these two together, we get x minus 3x, which is minus 2x. We need to expand the 3 in now. So 7 minus, 7x minus 1 is equal to 3x squared minus 6x. Plus, minus 9, 
and then we need to take away 7x and take away, uh, add 1. So taking away 7x, we're just going to get 3x minus 13x minus 6, take away 7x. Minus 9 plus 1 gives me minus 8, which is what I wanted to get as required. Notice all my equal signs are in a straight line in order to get balance, okay? Plenty of steps are working out because the question sh says show. What we're looking for here in this question is method. You wouldn't need to necessarily write down that. Solve the equation 3x squared minus 13x minus 8 is equal to 0. Show all your working and give your answers correct to two decimal places. If a quadratic you're solving it to two decimal places, then the clue is that you need to be using the quadratic formula, which you need to learn for the exam. So x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Good idea to write out ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So a is 3 b is minus 13, c is minus 8. Now when substituting in, you should use brackets. So it's minus brackets minus 13, plus or minus the square root of minus 13 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 3, times minus 8. All right, and if you don't put brackets here, you're liable to make a mistake. All divided by 2 times a, which is 2 times 3. So minus minus 13 is 13, plus or minus 13, minus 13 squared is 169, minus 4 times 3 times minus 8 is plus 96, divided by 6, and then we're going to get 13 plus or minus, adding these two together, 265 divided by 6. And now you need to go to your calculator, but you must remember to put the top part into brackets, which is the next com most common mistake that people make. So brackets, 13 minus square root 265 close the bracket divided by 6 by putting that in brackets you're dividing all of it by 6 like it says equals and you're going to get x is equal to minus 0 0.546 and a few other numbers now on the your calculator if you press the replay button all you need to do is go back and change that sign to a plus so it's brackets 13 plus square root 265, close the bracket, divided, 6 is equal to. And again, that will give you x is equal to 4.879. Now, we are to give the answers correct to two decimal places, so this will become minus 0 0.555, and this will become 4.88. So x is equal to minus 0 0.55, or 4.88 to two decimal places.